about greedy method greedy method is the simplest and straightforward algorithm design technique among all other algorithmic approaches this method is mainly used to solve optimization problems greedy method is easy to implement and quite efficient in most of the cases this method can be applied to a wide variety of problems most of these problems have n inputs and require us to obtain a subset that satisfies some constraints any subset that satisfies these constraints is called a feasible solution we need to find a feasible solution that either maximizes or minimizes a given objective function a feasible solution that does this is called an optimal solution the two key ingredients in a greedy algorithm are the greedy choice property and the optimal substructure by the greedy choice property what we mean is a globally optimal solution can be arrived at by making a locally optimal or greedy choice in other words when a choice is to be made then it looks for the best choice in the current problem that is the choice that seems best at the moment the choices made by the greedy algorithm may depend on the choices made so far but it cannot depend on any future choice or solution to the sub problems the algorithm works in a top down manner making greedy choice one after another reducing each given problem instance into smaller one the second ingredient of the greedy algorithm is the optimal substructure a problem is said to have an optimal substructure if an optimal solution can be constructed efficiently from the optimal solution to its sub problems let us see the working of a greedy algorithm by going through the control abstraction the n inputs for the algorithm is kept in the array a1 to n the function select selects an input from the array a and removes from it the selected inputs value is assigned to x feasible is a boolean valued function that determines whether x can be included into the solution vector the function union combines x with the solution and updates the objective function the function greedy describes the essential way that a greedy algorithm will look once a particular problem is chosen and the functions select feasible and union are properly implemented now let us see a problem which can be solved using greedy strategy the problem we are going to consider is the knapsack problem we are given n objects and a knapsack or bag with a capacity m object i has a weight wi and a profit pi if a fraction of object i is placed into the knapsack then a profit of pi xi is earned where xi is the fraction of the object i and the value of xi is in between 0 and 1 the objective is to obtain a filling of the knapsack that maximizes the total profit earned since the knapsack capacity is m we require the total weight of all chosen objects to be at most m we can think about a situation where a thief is robbing a store and finds n items each item has a particular cost and weight he is carrying a knapsack or bag which has a capacity m how can he select items so that he gets maximum profit so the problem can be formally stated as maximize 
the total sum of pi xi subject to the weight this is the profit earned and this is the weight of the items selected and the selected items weight should be less than or equal to m where m is the knapsack capacity xi the value of xi is in between 0 and 1 and the value of i is in between 1 and n so a feasible solution is any set satisfying 4.2 and 4.3 that is these are the constraints so in the definition we have seen there are certain constraints the solutions those are satisfying these constraints are called feasible solution so for a problem we can find a variety of feasible solution as a lots of feasible solutions which are satisfying the constraints so in this problem these two 4.2 and 4.3 are the constraints and we can find many feasible solutions which are satisfying these constraints but an optimal solution is the one which satisfies the objective function so the objective function here is the profit so we need to maximize the profit and there are two variations of knapsack problem that is uh, zero one knapsack problem and fractional knapsack problem zero one knapsack problem means each item is taken or left behind whether we can select or not select and fractional knapsack problem is we can select fractions of items to fill the knapsack here we are dealing with a fractional knapsack problem let us see an example consider the following instance that is n is equal to 3 that is number of items we are considering is 3 m is equal to 20 m is a knapsack capacity and the item the profit of these items three items are there so the profit of these three items are given as 25 24 and 15 and the weight of these three items are given 18 15 and 10 so we need to find an optimal solution to maximize the profit so how to select these items to fill the knapsack which is having a capacity of 20 so that we can maximize the profit so these are some feasible solutions which are satisfying these constraints and the optimal solution is the one which is having the maximum profit that is 31.5 is the maximum profit here so this one is the optimal solution here and in the optimal solution we are not selecting the item 1 we are selecting the item 2 and 1 by 2 of the third item is selected so by selecting these items in this order we will get the knapsack capacity as 20 and the maximum profit as 31.5 So let us see the algorithm for knapsack problem, the fractional knapsack problem. So here the M is the knapsack capacity, N is the number of items given. So P is the profit of this N, P is an array which is uh, having the profit of N items and W, W here W is missing, W of 1 to N contains the profits, uh, sorry weights of these items so the profit is given in the array p and the weight is given in the array w w is missing here so these items should be ordered in the order of or in the ratio of pi by wi so these items should be ordered uh, in the decreasing order of pi by wi that is the first item is the one which is having largest pi by wi so we need to sort all these items all the n items by the ratio pi by wi so x12 n is the solution vector so there are n items we are considering so the solution vector also contains n uh, elements so first thing is so already we have sorted uh, these items by considering the pi by wi ratio so the item which is having the most uh, or the highest value for pi by wi is considered first then the decreasing in the decreasing order of pi by wi we are considering all these items so initially we are initializing the solution vector as zero so that is 
the first statement here for i equal to 1 to n x of y equal to 0 all the solutions are all the solution the all the elements in the solution vector are initialized to 0 then u is equal to m m is an abstract capacity we are storing that value into u then so we are considering one by one each item is considered so the first item is taken the weight of the first item is compared with u u is the knapsack capacity and if the weight of the first item considered is greater than the knapsack capacity then we cannot select that item completely so we are breaking from there and coming out of the loop and then we are selecting a fraction of that item we can uh, take only a fraction of that item in that case so we are selecting u by wi if uh, wi is less than u then you can select that item completely so we are selecting that item completely and making x of y equal to 1 indicating that we have selected that item then if we have selected that item then we are reducing the weight of that item from u so the remaining capacity of the knapsack will be u so the, when uh, by repeating this loop we will get a uh, an order in which we need to fill the knapsack consider an example here n is equal to 5 we are considering 5 items m is equal to 60 kg m is an abstract capacity it is 60 kg and the weights of these 5 items are given as 5 10 15 22 and 25 the profit of these items are given as 30 40 45 77 and 90 we can uh, show it as a table the, these are the five items items are numbered from 1 to 5 then the corresponding weights and the profits are given in this table so the first step is to compute the profit by weight ratio for each item so in the algorithm uh, also what we have done is initially we are sorting we are sorting in the decreasing order of profit by weight ratio so for each item there is a weight and a profit so the profit by weight ratio we need to find that is for the first item 30 by 5 that gives uh, 6 and for the second item 40 by 10 that gives 4 likewise we are calculating the profit by weight ratio of for all these 5 items and we are getting values like this and the second step is sort all these items in the decreasing order of their profit by weight ratio so here this first item is having the highest profit by weight ratio so we are ordering temporarily as t1 this is the first item to be considered while filling the knapsack and the second one is this 4 the profit by weight ratio is 4 so we are considering it as the second t2 so this item is the one which should be considered uh, second while filling the knapsack and the third value will be 3.6 we are considering in the decreasing order of the profit by weight ratio so the third item will be item number 5 so item number 5 will be considered in the third position then we will get 3.5 which is in the fourth position and 3 which is in the fifth position and the third step is start filling the knapsack by putting the items into it one by one okay so in which order we are going to fill we are taking this order in this order we are going to fill the knapsack t1 so first item we uh, taken will be uh, item number one so the weight of that item is five the knapsack capacity is 60 initially here uh, you can see this table the initial knapsack capacity is 60 and the, uh, at that time no items are there in the knapsack and the profit is zero and we are taking the first item item number one we are considering and when we are putting that item into the knapsack the knapsack capacity then becomes 55 because the weight of that item is 5 so we are reducing 
50 uh, reducing 5 from 60 and we are getting 55 55 is the remaining knapsack capacity and the item we have selected is uh, first item t1 and uh, the profit we are getting is 30 the profit of this element is first item is 30 so the profit we are getting is 30 here and this is I1 indicates item 1 item 1 I1 indicates item 1 so the second item we are selecting is the second item so by putting that second item into the knapsack the remaining knapsack capacity will be 45 because the weight of the second item is 10 so by reducing 10 from 55 we will get 45 this is the remaining knapsack capacity and the profit of the second item is 40 so uh, by selecting the second item we are earning a profit total profit of 70 because we have selected the first item and we have selected the second item so the total profit earned will be 70 and the third item we should consider is item number 5 that is i5 we are considering and we are the weight of the item is 25 and the remaining knapsack capacity is 45 now so we can uh, select that item completely and so by selecting that item completely we will get a knapsack capacity the remaining knapsack capacity as 20 because 45 minus 25 that is 20 so we have selected item number 1 item number 2 and item number 5 all these items are put into the knapsack and the total profit earned now is 70 plus 90 that is 160 then then the item which comes in the fourth position is item number 4 but the weight of that item is 22 but the remaining knapsack capacity is 20 so we cannot put that item completely into the knapsack we can uh, put a fraction of that item only in the knapsack so how much fraction is required that is 20 by 22 of item number 4 a fraction 20 by 22 of item number 4 will fill the knapsack then the knapsack capacity remains zero that means the knapsack has been uh, filled so the total profit earned will be 160 plus a portion of the uh, profit of item number 4 that is uh, 70 we are getting how to calculate that profit that is 20 by 22 that much fraction only we have taken that into the profit of that item that is 77 20 by 22 into 77 that gives the value 70 so 160 plus 70 which gives 230 so the total uh, profit earned here is 230 and the item selected as i1 i2 i5 and a fraction of i4 that is 20 by 22 of i4 and the solution set we have a solution set x that means uh, if five items are there then x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 x1 means whether we have selected the first item or not so the first item is selected completely so the value 1 here then second item is also selected completely so the value 1 here third item we have not selected so the value 0 here and fourth item we have selected a fraction of that item that is 20 by 22 by reducing that we will get 10 by 11 then fifth item we have selected completely so the final solution for this problem is 1 1 0 10 by 11 and 1 So once again here is the algorithm so uh, the profit and weight are two different arrays having uh, the pro profit and weights of n items and x is the solution vector here and we know we are uh, sorting these items in the decreasing order of pi by wi and initializing all the solutions uh, uh, all the item all the elements in the solution vector are zero then 
uh, we are taking the first item we are comparing with the uh, capacity of the knapsack if it is less than the capacity of the knapsack we can completely select that item and after selecting we reduce the uh, weight of that item from knapsack capacity so that we will get the remaining knapsack capacity if the weight of that item is greater than the knapsack capacity we will break from that loop and we are selecting a fraction of that item so this is the algorithm for fractional knapsack problem and the the time complexity of this algorithm is uh, we know for sorting uh, the best time uh, will be n log n and the initialization step will take n steps and here also these steps will uh, will be executing n times so the greater value is n log n so the time complexity will be n log n thank you